Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will be talking with you about a newly updated application from Microsoft, which is Windows Sound Recorder. Windows have recently released the new version of Sound Recorder since developer build 2618. If you haven't received the latest Sound Recorder yet, then I would request you to simply press the menu button and then type store and here in store uh, what we need to do is we need to go here in apps and here in store what we require to do is click on library and you need to click on update all so in this way guys you can get a uh, latest updated application in your system now i'm going to close this and before we go ahead, let me tell you one thing. The updated sound recorder is only available as of now for developer build. Now let's start sound recorder. For that, let's press the menu button and we will be typing sound and then recorder. And here we go, guys. This is our application. The icon looks similar, but let's just open it up. And here we go, guys. We can see the latest updated sound recorder from Microsoft. So what's new in this? Let's find out. Microsoft generally keep its application very simple, intuitive and easy to use. With this new sound recorder, you can also feel the same. This application look very similar to the older one, but have few and very useful upgrade. So let's start talking about this application with this interface first. On the left hand side here, you have option to import file, which can be of these format from your local hard drive. So I'm not going to import any file as of now. So you can also import audio files here, which will be seen as a list here in this side. Let's just try to import few. Uh, maybe I can find some in my music. And here we go. Let's import this first one. So in this way, guys, we can even import other audio file here in our list. So this also confirmed the possibility that we may also find the option to edit sound file as well. If we go bottom, we can see the option to select mic among the different mic that is being connected to your device because I'm using desktop and only one mic is connected to my device. So here it is showing me one mic. If you want to change or want to set something default, then you can click here on change default in setting and it will take you to the system setting where you can define the mic. So here I'm going to keep it as it is and let's close this. Here we can see uh, we have a very simple option to record. So let's click on it. And now here you can see our sound or voice is getting recorded with the simulation which shows amplitude. And on the top of it, we can see the time scale going on. And here in the bottom, now we can see we have two options either to pause the recording or to stop it. And you can also resume it uh, whenever you want. So in this way, guys, we can record it now let's stop this now here we can see we have some option to play back for example the first one which will play this sound recording so let's review our sound recording and now here you can see our sound or voice is getting recorded with the simulation which shows amplitude so in this way guys you can play back or review the recorded sound you also have option jump to start if this does not meet your need not only that now with this new player you also have option to set a custom markup for example i want to place markup here so i kept my scale here and then i add a marker similarly you can add multiple marker the benefit of having these marker is that whenever you want to visit a particular milestone or marker in your timeline you can easily do that for that you here you need to click on these three dots and click on marker now from here you can choose wherever you want to go like this which is very useful if your clip is too long now let's talk about more settings so we're going to click again back to these three dots here we can see we also have option to set playback speed starting from 0.2x to 4x now let's click here on setting here we can customize or set the recording format we can also set the audio quality level we can also customize the theme let's say you don't like dark theme then we can set light theme permanently i want to keep it youth system setting so based on system setting the theme will automatically change now let's go back and click here on these upper three dots so here we have option to rename our recorded file. 
let's keep it youtube so in this way guys we can rename our file name we also have an option to show the file in folder so if i click here it will open windows explorer and will show me the location of the file in windows explorer which is very simple and very useful feature and now let's press this three dot again the last feature here is the delete button which lets us to delete the file which probably you can by pressing delete button the last option that i'm going to talk with you about is the share button you can share your file to any specific app or you can even mail it to someone you also have an option to share it with nearby device as well so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you find this video useful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye